Hi, this is Steve with Ocean West Consulting and FM Forums. I wanted to give you a little tip here about organization on the graph. Uh, if you're using Inker Buoy methodology as I'm here, I wanted to show you uh, some a technique I've used to help organize some of this mess of uh, uh, extra lines going every which way, trying to understand what each of these things do functionally. Now, this database is just a sample database. There's not a lot in it. Um, mostly everything in here, as you see, is uh, uh, just sample, sample tables. Um, I'm not going to pretend that, that these relationships actually do anything, but you've seen something like this. So I want to explain a way to make this a little easier to manage uh, this and not have to open up every single thing to figure out what it links to. Um, by grouping things by the function that they do. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a duplicate of the main table and I'm going to concentrate solely first on this first grouping because they have a set feature. So I'm going to open this up and find out exactly what fields I'm linking to. And you also want to make sure all your settings in here as well. Of course I'm not changing any of those settings, I don't have any of those set, but for the case of this example, um, primarily looking at the uh, the joins and the pr uh, multiple um, predicates. So in this case we know that the, um, uh, the ID, FKID, the GA equals A. So I'm going to just drag some lines around. So, and once I've done that, just delete that link. Then I'm going to move on to label two. Do this. Double check. Yep, that's correct. Delete that. And then I'm going to do the same for the rest of these here. So we have ID. Okay. GA and then GC equals C. Kind of delete that. And then look at here, A goes to A. Oops, let's see what that goes to. Goes to B. So once I've done that for that set of function grouping, then all I do is just create a one-to-one -one relationship between here and there. Now you're able to move this set of table occurrences in its own area. Now you don't base anything off of this table here or this table occurrence here, but it can give you some ability to move these around a little further away only having one line drawn to your anchor way over here gives you some ability to do that. Um, we can do the same for the rest of these here. First I want to create a new occurrence and figure out where this goes. Once I do that I delete it. one here. Let's see where that goes. Of course your logic is going to be much more easier to understand than the sample data that I've provided here. Also, you're going to probably want to have your table, your naming structure, such that all these um, middle tables 
explain what they do and then all these here would have um, that section appended to that so that you know exactly by the occurrence what it does. So when I go to the next set here So once you have that, we can then disconnect this and grab this one-to-one. -one. So now, all your buoys out here, based on the uh, same relationships as you had, just putting this middle table in between with the one-to-one -one relationship by its primary ID, gives you a little bit better uh, organizational um, clarity um, by function, by feature, by whatever it is it does. Um, I haven't seen any p penalty hits or performance issues. Um, relationships work just as they would um, since it's going a one-to-one -one and then going out um, through the relationship. I have not seen any kind of performance hits that way. Um, I'm curious to see what you thought and uh, uh, leave me some feedback. Thanks. Talk to you later.